What's going on, guys? It has been a while. It's been a while. No, but uh, it has been quite some time since my last video. And I promise you the reason is legitimate, but either way, I will apologize. I feel like I've been abusing you or neglecting you or abusing you by neglecting you. Some, some manner or form of not very good treatment. Anyways, uh, yes, it was, it was about a week or a week and a half since my last video. But like I said, the reason is legitimate. I got a full-time job. Uh, school for me got out about a month and a half ago. And ever since then, I was looking for a full-time job. Uh, mainly, I was focusing on an internship, which is where you go and work for a company and you work inside your field that you're majoring in, which for me is uh, IT or uh, computer information systems. Sometimes it's not paid, but uh, internships are really good for experience. And in the IT field, experience is everything. You can, if you don't, you can. You can get ahead in the IT field without even going to school if you really wanted to, and you just had the experience. It's one of those fields that you don't really need the education for, but obviously it does help. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I realized you guys, you know, you know, uh, I'm talking about me, you know, because uh, I'm pretty awesome. No, yes, you guys know me. I'm not a person who's really full of myself, but um, I'm not a big person to talk about myself. But I did right there. So you just got verbally or orally raped, which is not to be confused with orally rape. One is one is kind of okay in the YouTube community. The other one is liable to get me fired, especially uh, especially seeing as how some other directors are getting fired for quite similar circumstances. They're not really fired, just having their contracts terminated. But that's all I'm going to be said on that matter because that has been talked about enough already. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will probably find out soon enough from someone else. But anyways, so yeah, I was, uh, I'm working, I've uh, been working full time, been unable to do a video for some time now, and actually, I'm currently on my break right now. <laughs> but thankfully, I live so close to my job that I can quick stop at home real quick, grab a bite to eat, and head out back to work. Which is nice, which is very nice. I work at a, uh, work at a public school, it's nine bucks an hour, you know, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's better than better than minimum wage. That is for shown. And I'm working right in my field, so it's good experience, and I really enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, for those that are curious, I'm a technology assistant, which basically means uh, at the I deal with anything, anything technology related. Uh, you know, cords, access points, which are uh, basically business class routers. Uh, be, uh, all the computers, all the computers in the district I deal with, me and uh, me and my coworker, we just went and inventoried every single computer <laughs> in the district, which took an insane amount of time. But uh, I've definitely been enjoying my job, even though it's only an entry-level position. It's right up my alley. I really enjoy it, so I was really ecstatic to get it. Really happy for that. So I am feeling pretty good right now. Um, so it's full time. So I am. I'm on break. And so yeah, that is. That's what's been happening. Happening, yo. I'm so. I'm so gangster. Oh gosh. Gosh, I can feel. I can just feel the the mouse is moving towards the thumbs down. But yes. So that's what's going on. Anyways, this is Call of Duty. This is Black Ops. I know you guys have never seen this game before, so I might as well let you know on the basics. I have a gun. I shoot people. They hopefully die. I don't die. And that's it. Actually, no. <laughs> More specifically, I'm playing a uh, playing a competitive match with uh, Hutch, or is in the competitive matchmaking, so this probably won't be the most entertaining of gameplay, because I'm not, you know, running around, jumping out of windows, dolphin diving, doing 360 inverted heel flip no scopes or something like that. Because we're you know we're we're focusing we're totally focused on winning we're not worried about individual scores or kills I don't believe there's kill streaks in the competitive playlist but don't quote me on that it is it has been a very long time since I played this game and I am very tired right now because I've been trying to get used to my new schedule my blood my my uh, caffeine to blood ratio right now is not at a good point in terms of health or sanity at this moment so I may seem a little bit a little bit ecstatic at the moment because without Without caffeine, I would just die. I would just be on my way driving to work, fall asleep, and drive into a gas station and explode or something crazy like that. Cause some meltdown at a nuclear power plant that we don't even have. So that's uh, that's that. But yeah, we're playing competitive, so probably not the most entertaining of gameplay you will ever see in your entire life ever in the history of forever. But it was it was definitely weird. I've never I've never really played a really competitive game of Call of Duty. You know, I've never done any tournaments for it, not even doubles or singles or free for oh, actually, correct, I lied. I just lied to you straight face right there. I did one free for all tournament for uh, Play and Trade way back in the day, which is like a, uh, basically the same thing as a GameStop. I'm not sure if, uh, I believe it's in international, but uh, I did uh, did that. Made it pretty far. I made it like three or four rounds in. The next round was the final round where the final eight goes. So I made, uh, what would that be, like depending on how many stores, like top 128 or 256. So not too shabby. 
But uh, yeah, I'm not a big tournament guy when it comes to Call of Duty. Anything competitive-wise, I just jump over to Halo because that is the game for me when it comes to playing competitively. When it comes to just chilling, just playing back, not really caring too much, then I'd kind of jump over to COD, but I kind of mixed it up for this one. So Hutch was on. He's like, hey, let's play some competitive. I'm like, show? Question mark? And uh, we did it. We ended up doing quite well. You can see, you know, right off the bat here, we're doing pretty well with the score, about 135 to about 30, and we're pretty much dominating. I realize, I believe at this point, there's only two opponents or so we're playing against. Uh, the team we're playing against, they keep quitting out, having new people join in, quitting out, having new people join in. You know, it's going to happen. Um, you don't really, it doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, that being said, it is competitive playlist. You should expect at one point or another that uh, you're going to play against a team that's, you know, well organized and able to, uh, you know, hold on to points. But, uh, you know, it happens. Uh, so, whatever. I'd, we'll deal with it. Deal with it, brosive. Ja, gosh. Gosh. But, uh, yeah, I definitely had my tryhard pants on this for this game. You can see I'm using the FAMAS with the red dot sight. I never use the red dot sight ever, 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 except for now. So once again, I lied to you. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just a big liar poopy pants today, I tell you what. But I just I just never use the red dot sight. I'm always running around with the silencer. But can't do that too much in this game because we're just, you know, we're just trying to hold our points. We're actually using callouts. I've never used callouts on this map before, so I'm like, he's over by the thing. With the stuff, it looks like a penis. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> when you when you equate callouts on the map to male anatomy parts, then all of a sudden everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. It looks like the boobs, which obviously is not male anatomy. Hopefully, it looks like boobs. Oh, okay, I got you. The vag, what? You know the vag. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so getting canned. But it's true though. I mean, Gears of War. What's the the uh, the thrash ball court the, the, on either side it looks like you got a big old chode sticking up right in the middle of the map and everybody knows that call out red chode blue chode they know exactly what I'm talking about they all look at the same time even if I say it ever so quietly you know there could be there could be nuclear bombs going off in Gears of War which don't happen and they would still hear the call out to red chode or blue chode that's gonna be it for this video guys completely random completely off topic but I have not done a video for quite some time and I really wanted to do it just to see what would happen I didn't even like think ahead so much. I knew kind of what I want to talk about, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go. And I went. But yes, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.